I'm going to use this to tell to tell mummy what it was like, kind of. Oh, cool. What we did. We learned about who cooks your food, um, who cooks for you, barn owl, and daddy did the Bard, picture. with a D, barn owl. Yeah. And then we did my last one. Now, in the morning, I'm just going to show mama how the tent was set up. I can't make a good marshmallow at all. I can't even make it very toasty. No? Last time I kept burning it. Oops. Remember last time I kept burning it and now and now I can't even now I can't even like get it to well, get in the middle. Got one going for you there. Look at that. And some golden brown. Who cooks for you? Who cooks for you? Who cooks for me? You. Yeah, that's true. And flatbreads. <laughs> <laughs> I see the Big Dipper. No, really, I can see the Big Dipper. Yeah, right there. Yep, right there. One, two, three, four, yeah. five, six. And that one you can barely see, but I can see it. Yeah. Barely. Right. So if that's the front two, what do you think the North Star is? You follow a line with the front two, remember? And it's angled up that way. So right over there is the North Star. There it is. I think it's right over here. No, I think that's really bright. No, no it's not about bright. It's not about bright. So if that's the Big yeah. Dipper, and then you have the two lines, you follow the two lines, it's going to be over there, probably that one right there, it's barely behind the tree, you can barely see it, straight, see it, it's kind of light, remember I told you, it's not very bright. Oh yeah, I can actually think of it. Yeah, I think that's the North Star right there. Might be able to see it. Yeah, that's the North Star. There it is. So that's North. So this way is North? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this way is North. <laughs> Good job. All right, I'm gonna get uh, our top up and set up our shelter. I don't know what I'm gonna tie off. Maybe I'll tie to your bench or something. <laughs> All right, I just need to make a stake for the side. Let's see what's sitting around. Just bash something into the ground. Daddy? Yes, sweetheart. I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel comfortable with no field size. We're going to be in a tent. We're not going to just lay in the ground. <laughs> I do that sometimes, but I'm not going to do that this time. It's the latest you've ever been up. My big girl. So what time is it? It's 1.20 in the morning. Oh my god. Was that you, Gary? Yep. All right, that was Gary. Don't worry about it. See, instead of getting scared, you no, just ask. No, it's not about that. It's just... Oh, 1.20 in the morning? Yeah, that's, that's pretty early. <laughs> pretty, pretty late. <laughs> Maybe you want to... <laughs> What's going on, guys? It's just me and Gary. My little one just, uh, just went to sleep. While I was doing that, Gary organized the fire, banked it around. That's real nice. Good solid wood right there. Excellent uh, design. Excellent design. 
So he has like a box going around and some wood going over the corners of the box. One in the middle. Nice and compact. Very nice. <coughs> yeah, we're running a lot cool. Have some coals when we do get up. Yep. That'd be nice. I am going to stuff my face with marshmallows because uh, I haven't had one yet because I can. I will and I shall. You want one? Whole bag, you haven't grabbed one yet, so I just I figured I'm maybe you're waiting for me to ask or no, I think I'm gonna rack out. Understood. I want to as well, but I need to have a marshmallow man. I can't go to bed with that one. You guys are enjoying this footage, this video that we're, we're giving you. It's a lot of work to uh, document a trip. Mm. It's a lot easier just to show up and do things. Mm -hmm. I get a lot less done as I document it. So hopefully it's worth it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the footage. Bring it right as close as I could right, right before it burned. I want to make sure I got a good, a good cook. I imagine it's pretty warm right there in that pocket. Yeah. Don't you dare. <laughs> All right, well, it started flaring up a little bit, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. You know the worst part about. Yeah, see me. Yeah, you know the worst part about burning these is that it forces you to cook two more and try again. <laughs> and then if you don't burn the next ones, then it's a game of how many can I cook as perfect as the other ones. And, you know, maybe you can cook like ten sets perfectly, and you realize you just ate twenty marshmallows. And it's time for bed. <laughs> that's that crash is coming after that I cook these fast I like to uh, like after I have a good half dozen or so I'm a little more patient mm -hmm. and I tend to cook them a little slower and so the inside is like completely liquid and the outside is just like a, a hollow, like a, like it's just hollow with a really thin shell, like an egg shell. I always like it when it's like that. Mmm. Mmm. You know guys and gals of YouTube, you can also do this over your oven, your stove top. If you have an um, electric stove, the uh, the coils, you just jack it up 
toast it right over the coils. We've all done it. Come on, don't tell me you haven't done that. Of course, if you have gas, it's even easier. It's a real flame. But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can do it over your stove. How does you count about five seconds? And then I take the marshmallow away. And if it's a little hotter, you know, then I count four seconds. Like this spot that I'm going in right now is more like a three second spot. So I like to mix it up. For me too, I mean, it's kind of like what's the point of going out if you just do the same thing every time. I like to sleep with different systems and all that, different tents, then a lavu next time and a different, no, that's too bad. A different sleeping bag, like I have my minus 30 synthetic bag tonight. Um, you know, the last overnight I used was my canvas bag. You know, the canvas bag is bulkier and weighs way more. It's a 12-pound sleeping bag. That bag is like a 5-pound bag. But I just like to use different things. I get a bunch of different gear. I use different bags all the time. I'm using this Frost River bag for the first time. So that's cool. That's a new piece of gear. Um, I use my Alder Stream canvas bag a lot. That my buddy Derek designed. Um, I use my Kelty 110 a lot um, those are kind of like what I use the most because I use um, I use shelters now um, back in the day I used to sleep on the ground with my wool blanket just like next to the fire or I used to sleep uh, in a hammock so like my whole shelter system would be the size of a football basically and now i have like five times that size my, my gear is so much bulkier now but i, I don't sleep comfortably in a, in a hammock anymore i don't know it didn't help that my hammocks eventually broke and ripped and stuff too like i just one of these days i'm gonna i'm gonna get a nice hammock and maybe get back into it you know but Whatever, man. I've I've always been a ground sleeper. So, anyways, just kind of letting you guys, you know, kind of know what's going on with the channel and where it's been, where it's going. My sub count is just always going up. Um, I really appreciate that. Um, I'm about to hit 200,000 soon. I'm at like 180 something or 190. I don't know, but. Anyways, um, appreciate that. That's very cool. Because I remember, like, I only broke 100,000, like, last year or something, <laughs> you know? And it took me, like, six years to break 100,000, to get to 100,000. It only took me, like, a year to, like, basically get another 80-something thousand. It's crazy. It's, like, gaining subs six times faster than I was before. Like, that's a huge increase really quickly. So channel still exploding it's just nuts to me so right on my memory card's about to die so i'll catch you guys in a bit mm -mm -mm. All right, gang. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna pack up and uh, go crash. It's been maybe 20 minutes, 25 minutes since Gary went to bed, and maybe 45 minutes, roughly, since my daughter went to bed. So I got food to put away, put inside bags, you know, everything, lock everything back up where it was. Um, I like to bring my backpacks near my my shelter and stuff too. Put it near my, you know, my front door. Put everything over there, basically. So um, Gary didn't. He he left everything here. I don't know. So maybe 
maybe I'll leave stuff, but I usually tend to keep it next to me. I've just found, like, over the years of doing this stuff, you know, living in the woods with gear, that, um, it's nice to have things at hand. I usually bring my backpack, like, into my shelter with me. When I'm sleeping alone, I throw my bag, my whole backpack, inside my tent, you know, or my lab or whatever it is. And then, like, in the middle of the night from freezing or whatever, I open it up and I grab a sweatshirt. Or if I wake up in a puddle because there was, like, horrific, you know, breakdown of waterproofing and gear, and somehow water got through everything I own, and I'm laying in water, at least my bag is next to me, and I can like get out of the water get dressed whatever it is you know what i mean like i have everything i need like if i wake up and it's pouring down rain and like whatever it's freezing my my jacket my rain jacket isn't in my backpack next to the fire pit you know it's in my tent with me so um i don't know if i'm gonna have room to put me and my daughter's bag or rucksacks with us in the tent with both of us in there probably not so i'll probably just stack them in front of the door you know like right underneath our tarp next to the tent so anyways um i need to do all that i need to get all my stuff ready to go and um that way everything is where it should be all as well it's supposed to be getting rain tomorrow and we'll be prepared um and i'm not gonna leave food around in camp like that that stick that has all the marshmallow goo on it from cooking, that's gonna go right in the fire, you know. Um, I'm sure there's coyotes in these woods. So, I mean, I, you can't leave stuff around too much. I've never had a problem with coyotes, even with food. When I didn't even use tents, when I had food, like, out, I'd put it back inside the bag, all inside bags, plastic bags, whatever it was. <laughs> put it all inside my, my rucksack, close everything back up for the night, even if I'm laying on the ground next to it, whatever, but at least it's, it's away, you know, it's closed up. Um, you know, raccoons, whatever, they love to dig into stuff. If you leave it out, they'll, they'll, uh, they'll dig into stuff, so. All right, guys, anyways, I'm gonna uh, prep for bed, go rack out, and uh, it's probably 2.30 or something, three in the morning. It's 2.45, so I'm going to bed. Good night. Good morning, campers. What's going on? It is the morning. Sun's in my eyes. There's our shelter. There's my girl. My fire. <clears throat> Allergies are kind of beating me up a little bit today. I made a path. Into our camp. Excuse me. Just a path. Nice clean path. I like doing that when I'm in the woods. <coughs> Excuse me. Here comes Gary from the so car. Sorry, I took some. Twigs on the back. I'm going to the bathroom anyway. So then I took like some of the things here, and then I just threw them in. Now the fire's getting um a little bit more better. Yeah, it's building. Yep, it's building. See? Now you Go. can see the flames. Now, are you ready for a nature quest? What? Somewhere is very close to here. There's a spot where turkeys take a dust bath. Place where turkeys take a dust bath. Nice. Yeah. So where turkeys take a dust bath. Wow, more wood tracks. I love wood tracks. More wood tracks.
must have come loose while he was giving himself a bath. What do you got, I Sophie? Turkey feather? That's really dusty. Yeah. May have to um like wash it and then and then like pull like put a fan there and then someone yeah. can, can like hold it. I bet if you look around in some of this dust you might find some more. Found one. There you go. Yeah. Like I said, that's what they right. do here in this spot. I haven't seen them, but I've seen the evidence. Yeah, it's a good spot. I've seen the tracks. Yeah, it's all, yeah, it's all There's dusty. a track there, what's left of it. Yeah, I can see like that's their front toe, those are the two back. Yeah, he's... <laughs> Look around, there may be more in there. Yep, see, your dad found one. Isn't that cool? Pretty neat. It's their yeah. favorite spot. Keep too. all the dust in the middle so when they come back, and they will come back, they can use it. Don't they get poked by this? Well, they probably like it. <laughs> Why do they like it? Why would they like a root? I don't know. Imagine if you had an itch, you couldn't reach it. Uh, what would you do? That's pretty nice. It's a good spot. I don't know. I'm sorry, so nice woodland. Scratch my back. The lay of the land is uh, very interesting here. Very dynamic, great folds, valleys, ridges, old stone walls. So many nice curves here. Starting to rain.